This is the second part of a video where we take Harry Potter out of the Goblet of Fire. If you want to see part one, just check out the description or go to the channel and it's on there. There's also a playlist of all of the previous films if you want to see all of the series. So let's get straight back into it. Let's get straight... I've written that weirdly. Let's get straight back into it. It's a weird way to phrase that. Let's go. Malfoy is sitting in a tree, just like Cedric was earlier. And he's making fun of somebody, but we don't get to see who it is. I don't think you're gonna last ten. Ten what? What are you talking about? He thinks he won't last five. Five? Can the kids not even say numbers now? Oh, has he just turned him into a rat? Technically, it's a ferret. Yeah, if there's an animal, you can bet this guy will turn up to terrorize it. Somehow he gets into this kid's trousers, and then Moody winks at the camp. Yeah, I don't like that. Malfoy manages to escape and Moody starts to chase him around the tree. He's completely lost it. Then he just goes back to his office and takes off his leg like he's just done a hard day's work. Who hired this guy? It's the day of the first task and some lady just barges into the champion's tent and takes a picture. How what? So anyway, Crumb tells her to get lost. And she takes another picture anyway. The moment only four of you can Four of you? Try wizard means three. What are you doing here, Miss Granger? What are you doing here? Oh, um, You're not even in this movie, this is about Cedric. So, yeah, just get out of here. Then they pull these tiny little dragons the out of the bag. Screen. They don't look very dangerous. The Chinese fireball. Why'd you say it like that? Collect then the he end. just starts rhyming for this some you reason. Must do, but each egg contains a clue. A bit basic, but oh my god, what was that? Why is that in here? Anyway, Cedric, the star of this movie, steps up for his turn. Oh no, who put all these signs here? Don't look. Then Cedric approaches the- wait, I've seen that egg before. Yeah, wait a minute. Yeah, see, it's right here in And the Prisoner of Azkaban, part 2, at 8 minutes 31. It was here the whole time. Why didn't they just go get it from here? So anyway, the dragon shows up and it looks a lot bigger than I expected. And we watched the crowd react for a while, but so far no Cedric. And yet again, Hermione pronounces hurry weirdly. You want, Harry! You want! Then the dragon breaks free and flies away flies over the crowd, and then it flies towards a bridge, where it crashes and instantly dies. Oh. This is awkward. So I guess Cedric just picks up the egg and leaves? Cool. The next day, Hermione swoops into the Great Hall. She sits next to Ron, who for some reason has like a smaller Ron next to him, who just leaves when Hermione notices him. I don't really understand what happened here. The Yule Ball is first and foremost... Another excuse to skip class? Again. Oh, I was close. The kids start talking between themselves, but McGonagall has something important to say, so she stops them. The babbling, bumbling band of baboons. I'm sorry, what? Anyway, we cut to Hagrid, who's talking about his dad being small. Tiny little fella, my dad. I could pick him up at the age of six with one hand and put him up in the dresser. Weird flex, but okay. Um, what is she doing? And then he died. I don't understand what that was either. That evening, Ron gets lost and stumbles into the girls' dormitory. He just asked Fleur to look all out. He asked out Fleur? Walking by. You know, I like it when they walk. What do you mean, they? Anyway, he dresses up into, I suppose you'd call them clothes. We cut to Hermione, who is definitely wearing clothes, and who's this? Is that Crumb? Ron's gonna be devastated. He loves Crumb. Then Hermione savagely waves to Ron, who is presumably crying in the corner somewhere. Is that Hermione Granger? Victor Even Fleur's rubbing it in. No. Wait, that's not Fleur. No, Who is that? Then Neville and Ginny dance together as everyone stands awkwardly behind them. I can't wait to see where this relationship goes. Then it just turns into a rock concert, but like, this is kind of weird, right? So they all have muggle instruments? Did they have to learn those? Like, go to a muggle drum teacher and do all the exams and stuff? Or is it purely driven by magical ability? I don't know. I just wondered, I guess. Anyway. Spin around like a crazy elf. A dancing by himself. Wait, what are these lyrics? They're just a magical creature performing an action. Now for some reason, somebody's documented every single lyric that this song has, so we're going to take a look. No, I've changed my mind, I'm out. So Hermione seems to have had a great time. Let's see how Ron's date's going. Are you going to ask me to dance or not? No. Oh. Turns out that Hermione wished that Ron asked her out. Pluck up the courage and ask me before somebody else This is a complicated relationship. I don't think we should analyse this too much. Anyway, then Hagrid tries to touch the giant lady somewhere that she isn't comfortable with. You probably should analyse this, but we won't. It's the second task and left and right Weaselby are taking bets. Four go down. How many times do I have to explain Triwizard? 
Next, Dumbledore addresses the crowd. These four treasures, one for each champion. Oh, not now you as well, Dumbledore. It's not four, it's three. It's tri Oh my god, not again. Why do they keep on doing that? Then we cut straight to Fleur, who's one of the favourites for this event. Oh, no, she's dead. Oh, and here are the treasures that Dumbledore was talking about, though they do appear to be wax dolls. Cedric is the first to show up, but for some reason he asked the cameraman for the time. It's about 5 minutes 24, Cedric. Yeah, okay. Then a shark shows up and takes Hermione, presumably straight back to Madame Tussauds where she belongs. And I guess Fleur's sister isn't going to make it either, huh? Oh well. Cedric emerges and so does Hermione with this shark- Oh, it was Crumb, right. Wait, is Fleur alive? I guess she just gave up or whatever. Oh, and Ron's jumped in to save her sister. Fleur thanks him by giving him a kiss, potentially turning our Crumb Hermione Ron love triangle into a love square. Then Malfoy slaps this kid, which I think is even better knowing he'd already done that to the same kid barely five seconds ago. We're finally here at the third and final task, and oh god, don't look. That's better. Cedric is out first, followed by Fleur, and watch this guy with the spinner on the right who has no idea what to do with his left hand. Yeah, let's just start clapping. Professor Moody placed the Triwizard Cup deep within the maze. A maze? That doesn't sound very hard. Will be the winner. What stops him just flying to it? A really long hug from his dad here. Jeez, let him go. You're going to see him in like five minutes. So, as Cedric enters the maze... Oh my god, stop doing that. Then the maze closes behind him and he's on his own. I'm sure this won't take long. It's only a maze. Oh. Cedric walks around the maze for a bit until the maze decides to eat him. But the maze is made out of, like, leaves, so he just walks out. Meanwhile, Crumb is just being a proper weirdo. Fleur, on the other hand, seems quite worried and appears to be entirely lost. She trips over and is found by Crumb, passed out on the floor. Then she's absorbed by the maze for nutrients. Nature is beautiful, isn't it? Then, in the first action sequence of the film, Crumb turns to attack Cedric. However, Crumb is easily defeated because Cedric is the main character. He leaves Crumb to be eaten by the maze, but then he is also consumed by the maze. In panic, he screams hurry in a weird accent like Hermione did. But nobody can hear his screams. Should we call it a draw? No, I guess not. Then for some reason, Cedric's dad is celebrating. Your son's dead. Fleur notices- wait, she's alive? Again? This dad's a monster. See, she's got the right idea. A boy's just been killed. You're surprised? You had him fight a dragon in the first half. Suddenly Cedric's dad sees people through. watching, so he pretends he's upset. This is my boy! Well, it's some of your boys. See, the rest of him's actually been absorbed my into the soil. Boy. Come on, you're overselling it now. We all saw you celebrate earlier. Hermione, who's now in human form, watches as Cedric's dad puts in a BAFTA-worthy performance. Well, that was sad, I suppose. Anyway, we catch up with Moody, who seems to have run out of his medication. Was he sick? Oh, weird way to open a door, but okay. Luckily, they have a potion for him, and he recovers enough to remember Dumbledore's name. Yes, that is Dumbledore. Is he in this room? Is who in this room? What's going on here? They open a chest, and inside the chest is... Wait. You all right, Alistair? Then who's this? Oh, he's not looking so great. He needs help. Well, this is horrifying. Someone get this man a doctor. Oh, there we go. I'll show you mine if you show me yours. Uh, that won't be necessary, thanks. He's back. Who? Lord Voldemort has returned. Lord who? They decide to have a funeral for Cedric, where Dumbledore holds his head in his hands, wondering how he can deflect the blame away from himself. Oh, I think, therefore, you have the right to know exactly how he died. Yeah, he got turned into plant food. Cedric Diggory was murdered! Really? By Lord Voldemort! Who? Does he really think that anyone's gonna buy that? So, it's the end of the school year and the kids are relaxing after attending literally one lesson all year. They've really earned this break. Why were Hermione and Ron not really in this film? Like, it's weird to have Cedric as the main character, but then kill him off. Wait, who is this? Why are we looking at him? Oh, now he's walking up to Hermione. She's trying not to catch his eye. Just stay still, Hermione. If you don't move, he can't see you. Oh no, he's found her. This is too much. Just get me out. So, we're finally here at the end of And the Goblet of Fire. Feel free to leave a like and a comment and also subscribe. Uh, if you want to see more, you can check out the rest of the channel. And if you want gaming stuff, feel free to check out Lelling 2, the second and considerably worse channel. Uh, hopefully I'll be back with more of this soon. Uh, bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Bye.